the college football viewing guide for week number seven. We got a lot to discuss. What I do in this segment is basically explain exactly what's going to be on my TV this week. As far as college football is concerned, uh, we've got games from Wednesday night all the way through Saturday night, and I am pumped about it. And it goes all the way until uh, 3 a.m. Sunday morning, sometime around there, whenever it is. It, it's going to be a long time if you're going to stay up and watch that Hawaii game on Spectrum pay-per-view. But, uh, and I would not recommend that. Get you get you some sleep, and then get up and, and come join the college football recap and reaction show that we do. Our little bit of Sunday service, if you will. All right, let's go on and pull it up on the screen here. And let's start with, of course, Wednesday evening, Louisiana at Marshall. I think that's going to be a fun game, an interesting game. Uh, You will get to see exactly what Louisiana looks like right now without Billy Napier. Uh, I will tell you this. It's not great. It's not great. It's not a good football team. Um but they, they might could surprise Marshall. Marshall, of course, has had some downers, so I would I would pay attention to this one. Moving over to Thursday evening, uh, my main TV is going to have Baylor at West Virginia on. Uh, Thursday, probably going to be hanging out. That one's on uh, FS1 at 7 p.m. Uh, Eastern time. Uh, this is a This is a fun spot to figure out exactly what these two teams are, right? West Virginia, really good offense, not a very good defense. Baylor average at everything. So which team gets an advantage here? Uh, this is this is a fun matchup. So I'm interested in that. Uh, Temple UCF, I got no no desire. I think that's like a four-touchdown spread. Uh, moving over to Friday, Navy at SMU. Uh, go and watch the BetUS College Football Show. You will see uh, that I have a play on Navy SMU. I think that one's going to be a lot of fun. And then if you would like to see a bloodbath, you can turn it over to CBS Sports Network at uh, 7 p.m., excuse me, at 8 p.m. Eastern uh, and watch Texas San Antonio, UTSA, just destroy FIU. Uh, But Navy SMU, that one's a 6.30 p.m. Central Time cake. You know, we're just going to go God's time zone. We're we're just going to make it easy. God's time zone, 6.30 p.m. Central Time on ESPN is Navy at SMU on Friday evening. All right, moving to the Saturday slate. And let's just, uh, let's keep it rolling with God's time zone in the central time zone. Iowa State at Texas is going to be on a side TV. Auburn at Ole Miss is going to be on a side TV. And then Penn State at Michigan is going to be on my main screen. Uh, Penn State, Michigan, 11 a.m. central time on Fox. Iowa State at Texas is going to be 11 a.m. on ABC. And then you've got uh, Auburn Ole Miss on ESPN. I think that Auburn Ole Miss game could get sideways early. Minnesota Illinois, I think, is going to be a very interesting game as well. That one's on the Big Ten Network. I will probably have that one up on the iPad. So just to pay attention to, just to see what's going on. Uh, Illinois could be in a lot of trouble if Tommy DeVito is not playing. Just saying. All right, we move along to the Saturday three thirty slot. You guys already know what I'm doing. Alabama Tennessee. This is the first undefeated matchup between these two since 1989. Uh, the first top six matchup between the two in, I don't even know how long. Maybe since 89? I mean, it's been a long time. Um, that's that's going to be an absolute, just ridiculous barn burner of a game. Uh, just a lot of fun. Tennessee fans have been waiting on a game like that for a very, very long time. Uh, especially against a rival like Alabama, who they have not beaten uh, ever since Nick Saban got there. Yeah, that's uh, 15 years. 15 years. Oklahoma State at TCU will be on one of the side TVs. That one's on ABC at 2.30. And I'm also going to have Arkansas at BYU on one of my side screens. I will toss NC State at Syracuse on the iPad uh, at the same time on ACC Network. But Arkansas and BYU on ESPN, that looks like it could be a very interesting football game. Very interesting. Uh, Two not very good defenses, two quarterbacks that can sling it. Yeah, yeah, that should be fun. Uh, can Arkansas run on BYU? That's a good question. Probably. Should be a lot of fun, especially with KJ Jefferson being back. All right, we move to the nightcap. Saturday, 7 p.m. Here's what I like. Um, I'm going to watch USC and Utah because i got to figure out USC. i got to see what this team is. I think Utah gives them uh, their biggest test of the season thus far, even though Utah did just get beat last week by UCLA. I'm going to have on my side screens um, Clemson at Florida State, 
That one's at 6.30 p.m. on ABC. And I'm going to have LSU at Florida, which is 6 p.m. on ESPN. Those are going to be my side screen games. USC Utah is going to be the main screen. Um, I'm going to have a couple of games going as far as computer, iPad, the other TV that's in my man cave, etc. Memphis at East Carolina it could be interesting. These are two teams that are very up and down. You don't know what version you're going to get from week to week. And then Mississippi State at Kentucky. If Will Levis plays, that one could be tricky. If he doesn't, uh, Mississippi State could beat them by 30. I mean, they, they could they could really, really get whipped. Uh, another one to pay attention to uh, in the nightcap is North Carolina and Duke. I, I think that North Carolina blows them out, but Duke has really shown some fight this year, so I am interested in that one. Um, oh, the the, uh, the nightcap here. San Jose State at Fresno State. That one's going to be at 9.45 p.m. Central on FS1. Logan Fife is supposed to be starting at quarterback again for Fresno State. Something to pay attention to. Just throwing it out there. I would have told you to watch Air Force at UNLV, but UNLV, Doug Brumfeld, the quarterback there, uh, is out injured. He's not even on the depth chart for this week. So I don't really know what to expect with the Rebels there. So, I, you know. But at the same time, Air Force, after after what you did last week, no, that ain't it. So I'm, I'm not going to be watching them. Uh, other interesting matchups from the weekend. Washington State, Air, uh, excuse me, Washington State, Oregon State, if you can find the Pac-12 network, uh, that one could be interesting. Arizona goes to Washington. That one's a 4.30 p.m. on Pac-12 network. That's, that's interesting because Washington does not appear to be able to stop anybody. Arizona, uh, on the other hand, cannot stop anybody either. You could have a ton of points in that game. Um, I, just one to one to pay attention to, one to see what's going on. Uh, along with that, uh, what else have we got? Miami and Virginia Tech has been relegated to ESPN three or whatever regional sports network you may have. That's that's just weird, right? I mean, Miami, all this hype around that program and just nothing. Those are two bad football teams right now. Uh, Texas State, what do they do for an encore after beating App State? Well, they go to Troy. That was on ESPN three at two thirty p.m. Um, Central, of course. And James Madison goes to Georgia Southern at 3 p.m. Central. And that one could be very interesting. Arkansas State at Southern, that one's going to be interesting as well. I, you know, there's basically there's fun games all day long. I, I mean, I can't find any game that I wouldn't watch. Oh, I didn't even bring up Kansas. Uh, I mentioned Jalen Daniels being out. Well, Dylan Gabriel may be coming back. How much of a difference does that make? Right? Like, does Oklahoma get up off the mat after three straight just brutal losses? Maybe. Maybe. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your